Hello, this is Chris from GrowQuest, and I'm going to explain what I came up with. And we've already talked about the uh, backyard or the large rose garden and what to trim. I've made some notes here so you can see these. I'll send them back down to you, UPS Ground tonight or FedEx Ground. Um, and I've glued on these various notes and some brand logos of uh, Kellogg's Amend and Kellogg's Grow Mulch and ideas for removing a plant here or trimming back a plant there. And you'll be able to uh, see all of this. But again, we covered a lot of that when I was there. So what I did is I came back and I was thinking, how can I quickly and effectively convey what a beautiful rose garden could look like without getting into too elaborate of a computer effort. Time is precious and we all have things to do. I have to be up north for a few days this week and we all have our own schedules. So what I realized is that at the front here where the tennis court is down below it would be really beautiful if there was a large pink archway of um, roses to walk through into the garden where the statue is. The base there, some dark red William Shakespeare or other English roses. And in the um, mid border, or the upper border here, some yellow Charles Darwin and some Harlow Carr pink roses. The Charles Darwin is a rich lemon scented uh, rose. So you, from the base you would have the ligustrum hedge and then looking up towards the office area there would be some pink scepter to aisle tree roses a ground cover more or less planting of Harlow Carr and then Charles Darwin. You can see a little bit better how that comes together here looking at the arbor. Sorry. I haven't really done it this way before but so you have the arbor and there's large posts, about 8 by 8 post supporting the arbor. And in front of each arbor post is a scepter to aisle English tree rose, really richly fragrant. And I've made, I've cut out some tree rose photos here and pasted them on here. You can kind of get a basic idea of scale. The idea is that you know, when you're in the office area looking down to the window environment in between the tree roses and the understory of the tree roses that you guys can enjoy the view from this room here and over here looking down into the rose garden so there's Harlow cars below the tree roses and then a taller planting of Charles Darwin and then of course this giant entryware exit of a pink English tree rose arch. We just take two 15 gallon tree ro or climbing roses and plant them and construct an arch for them to grow on. In the area right here at the flagstone area fill in all this flagstone crevices with some decomposed granite make a nice smooth walkway for people with heels or mostly ladies with heels I hope uh, so that they're not catching in here at all the decomposed granite packs in really tightly and will look very attractive in there keeping it simple and then in this area here we'll take and salvage the best of the remaining hybrid tea roses and the ones you bought or anything you're interested in 
and remove it all and amend the soil with some Kellogg's Amend and grow mulch and proper nutrients some gypsum in there and then replant the best of the plants and the same thing would be true in the um, third level there's actually seven levels to the garden when you um, walk through there and count them out you have the flagstone walkway level one and then there's a right uh, wing planter number two and then the hybrid teas that's actually number three the lingustrum hedge is number four and then we get up here to the um, flagstone pack walkway that's number four I mean five the next level above there is number uh, six and then the arbor planter is number seven and looking to the left side you have on this wall here and I forgot to include it on the um, email we can take uh, two to four golden celebration roses and put them on here you do that by removing just this mass of really useless green shrubbery here I've made some notes on there that would get taken out and then the golden celebration we planted up against here golden celebration is a really tall growing English rose so it'll allow it to uh, mingle its uh, blossoms up here on the railway along the fence and its more naked portion down here will uh, be covered up by other uh, roses so I've got down below here in the first planter bed the lowest elevation overlooking the tennis court the walkway is Jude the Obscure with uh, a, a light pink brother Cade Phil these roses are outstanding you already picked out Jude the Obscure which is one of my favorites and brother Cade Phil is I, I am pretty sure is my top favorite English rose so a mixture on this left side of three larger Jude the Obscure and then a few smaller Brother Cade Phil and then the opposite side also um, Jude the Obscure about four or five of them and then Brother Cade Phil roses in there too removing all of the stinky society garlic And you see up here, you get the same thing. The right side is again Charles Darwin. Excuse me on the camera there. And Harlow Carr in this planter bed up against this nice uh, wall area where it'll show up well. A dark red like William Shakespeare. You get a better example of what I'm talking about by the arbor here you have these arbor posts of the office so our desk height here looking down from a sitting position looking down in a standing position eye level coming down through here and capturing the base with the Harlow car the scepter to aisle tree roses on center with the post and then be looking at the um, Charles Darwin and then into the hybrid tea area I kept the um, English roses as solid colors because there's two rows or two layers of hybrid teas and at the moment since you're keeping most of them we have no idea what the colors are going to be it'll probably just be a giant confetti mix of uh, colors until you know over the next year or two you know, weed out the ones you like and don't like so to keep it from being too much of a complete color chaos solid yellow solid lavender and pink and then the mixture of the hybrid teas down here and the same thing in the um, third level 
have the hybrid teas we can again salvage out those and plant the best of the ones in there so that's it that's what uh, I came up with after about six hours two and a half hours down at your place and then um, another two and a half uh, working away here getting everything taken care of I emailed down an Excel spreadsheet that outlines the cost I really think the best thing to do is just to go bare root on this stuff I can do these roses for 1850 each bare root uh, except for the tree roses which obviously are more and uh, as soon as you say you like it I can have an order shipped out from Tyler Texas I already have some of these on order some of these I didn't have on order for, at least for now so it won't take them but a day or two to assemble the ones I didn't have and they get them shipped out my time for getting all this coordinated and done at the job site is included in the cost of the time that it took me to assemble this and the cost of the plants since I don't need to be there every moment the work is going on I just some helpful coaching in a couple hours in the morning a couple hours in the afternoon so that people keep the things going right and if your gardeners need more than that, then I'll obviously provide more than that. Thank you.